Hey guys, it's your girl Carrie, and today I'm going to be sharing a quick Dollar Tree haul. So let's get started. So first, let's get started with the food items. I saw this Dippin' Dot Cookies and Cream uh, box of cereal by General Mills. I picked this up for Ray to try because she loves anything cookies and cream flavored. Typically now that we're trying to do a little bit healthier with our eating, we don't have all this sugary cereal. I picked up 20 bags of this popcorn and you guys who have been with me for a while know that Reagan is heavily involved in the SGA and it's now election time for next year's um, you know candidates. We ordered some gourmet popcorn online and it wasn't enough to fill the 500 bags that we needed to fill so we're going to supplement with this. I picked up a couple of bags of these selfie lip pops. And they're basically little uh, bunnies, a pig, and I think a cat. And you just put the pop in your mouth and it looks like the little selfie, um, you know, uh, filters. And my you know, nieces and nephews will be coming during the summertime. So I'm going to start, you know, building up little bags and things for them. And the final food item is this San Pellegrino. This is a sparkling beverage. And I only got one can because again, this is a treat for me because this is not just sparkling water. It does have calories in it. It's 140 calories. And I am trying not to drink any of my calories. So this was a treat. I only purchased one. I never tried the grapefruit flavor before, but it was awesome. It tastes really, really good. I picked up a package of coffee stirrers because we were out. I got a package of these key tag split rings. And if you haven't seen my um, command center kitchen desk makeover where I decluttered that, um, you, I'm going to leave the link to that video in the description box below. But I had several keys that I did not know what they were. Four. So after figuring out what they were for, I wanted to get these little key tag rings to label those keys. And I picked up these white string tags and I use these for when I do tag sales to label my items at our yard sales. And again, the summer is coming up, so we'll be having our annual yard sales. I picked up some more cotton rounds. And this is the first time I'm actually using the uh, cosmetic wedges from the Dollar Tree. I don't know if these work well or not, but I'm going to try them. I use a beauty blender, but lately my face has been breaking out. I wash my beauty blender. I wash my brushes. I don't know what's going on. So I'm going to try, you know, using the disposable cosmetic wedges to see if that helps. I finally found another one of these flower sack towels. It says, I'm sorry for what I said when I was hungry. I only had one. I wanted to have two of them to put over the arm, uh, the bar on my oven. I was able to find two more of these books. I shared these in my previous haul. This book is really, really good and it's a must read. For anyone that has a daughter, I picked up one for my sister because she was trying to look for it. I told her about it and I bought another one for a Mother's Day giveaway that I'll be doing a gift basket to give away to a mom of 18. So stay tuned for that. Then I also found two of these books. It's called The Woman's Wake Up. How to Shake Up Your Looks, Life and Love After 50. And it's just basically, you know, going over those things, fashion after 50, how to stay current and trendy, but still look your age, dress your age. And it also has other things about dating and things like that. This was a very, very, uh, you know, good book. And so I also thought that maybe I would put a Mother's Day package together for um, you know, a woman that is over 50. I'm going to try to do a few Mother's Day giveaways for different age ranges. I picked up this small little eyeglass repair kit. You get three screwdrivers and some repair tools. I got a package of paint brushes for my husband for a little project that he's working on. I typically don't get the Dollar Tree um, paint brushes for real projects that we're going to you know, show or display, but this is for just something really quick that he's practicing on first. I picked up two small garbage cans and I found that if you just put a 
little garbage can where you're actually collecting a lot of garbage it'll be easier to keep your space clean so one of these is for my laundry room and the other one is for my bathroom but particularly right by my sink when i get ready in the morning my you know uh, cotton pads and makeup wipes and things like that i could throw directly in here instead of having to walk all the way across the bathroom and go into the little um, space where the bathroom stall is that's where we have our garbage can so i want one by my sink. Well, that's the end of this haul. Please check out my previous video. I did a video on finding your perfect uh, bra size guide and I will leave the link to that in the description box below. And until next time, I'm going to keep calm and carry on. Bye guys.